Hello guys and welcome back to our highlights from our game against Bogner Regis. Within the early couple of minutes, Bogner gave us an early taste of what could perhaps come tonight. The Dorkin midfielder on loan at Bogner, Alfie Rutherford, here shot from distance, forcing Stewart into making an early save and deflecting it out for a throw-in. At the other end of the pitch, Gosport tried something similar, with this effort stemming from Alex Barca. Around 18 yards out from goal, the Czech forward smashed the ball over the Bogner bar in Gosport's first real chance. On the 20th minute, Corey Jordan denied Bogner from snatching a lead. Initially gifting the ball to Douglas, the midfielder transferred the ball onto Gifford, who went for goal. However, Jordan redeemed himself by getting back and clearing the shot off the line. Danny Hollins was the next player to have a crack at goal. On the left foot, Hollins dished the shot towards goal, but Hall had to get down low to push it out for a Borough corner. But despite both teams having good starts, it would be the home side to get the goals underway. A good run allowed for Livesey Austin to hit a shot across the goal deck, and quick reaction saw Stewart stop the initial chance. However, the rebound fell to Dan Gifford, who lobbed it past the goal line to make it 1-0 to Bogner. It was supposed to deny the Borough equaliser though. Diaz worked his magic playing the ball into Dan Wooden. A good turn separated the striker from the Buckner defender and Wooden fired the ball towards goal, but the effort slammed against the Buckner post and it stayed 1-0. If this didn't put a frown on Borough fans' faces, the next action definitely did. A late challenge saw Harry Kavanagh slide into white and with the poor pitch conditions it sent Kavanagh sliding a bit faster than he would have initially planned and as a result Kavanagh saw a straight red and Gosport went down to 10 men. Stewart would be needed again before the half concluded with Rutherford brushing a low driven shot towards a Borough goal. Stewart was forced into making another save to keep the score Buckner Regis 1, Gosport 0. Straight into the second half, Gosport were introduced to a Dan Gifford solo run. Marching into the Borough box, the former Pompey man eventually found himself in front of goal. Finishing the attack off, the striker wrapped his boot around the ball to curl the ball into the top corner to cushion the lead. Moments later, the next chance definitely finished off the game. Bogner were instantly after the third goal and launched an attack after Gosport kicked off. The corner found Robson at the back post and the Bogner man delivered the bullet header past Stewart to make it free. Pat and Joe added Ramos and Afeji to try and fix the problem and the subs were involved with the next effort. Barca played the ball into Ramos sending the forward past the Bogner defence but positioning favoured the Bogner keeper which ultimately allowed him to make a save to deny Ramos and Gosport a goal. And Gosport finished off the half by having the ball roll past Hall in the last minutes of the game and the tank eventually led to Afeji slotting a ball past Hall however the goal wouldn't stand with Afeji being stood in an offside position and the full time whistle quickly followed with Bognor Regis winning 3-0 against Gosport. It was probably safe to say the red card was the downfall of Burroughs performance tonight but excluding that nothing can be taken away from Bogner's win tonight. We wish him all the best for this season but for us it's full focus on the league now. And final words from me, up the borough.